today I'm going to be reviewing Holy Lotus Wash Off Mask. Focus. It won't focus. Um, and I'm going to be taking down one of its competitors. Um, so, let's see. What I love about Holy Lotus Mask, aside from being super hydrating, um, is for one, the smell. It smells so good, and it is um, tuberous, I think, that makes it smell good. Um, it's a brightening. It works it to even out my skin tone. It feels so good on my skin. Um, I can wear this all day long. I know some people like to wear it as a moisturizer all day. Um, I have done that, not on purpose, but it's just because I forgot that I was masking with it. Um, and my skin felt comfortable all day long and I just kind of left it on there until I washed my face at night and um, I just I really like this and it's a good daily mask it's not too harsh it helps to um, make your pores smaller and brighten your complexion and even out your skin tone um, it exfoliates gently um, chemically and it's got the um, oh because it has the AHAs in it um, so it's an all-in-one like hydrating, exfoliating, brightening, toning mask and it's safe for daily use I would say. Um, of course everybody's different. I think if you have more sensitive skin or, or on the drier side you might want to limit it to every other day or two to three times a week. Um, Adeline says Holy Lotus is mask of my choice for dry ass skin yeah i can see that i want to like put this all over my body um but i'm not rich so <laughs> um all right i'm gonna go into the ingredients and of course number one is pink lotus extract which is actually holy lotus um so pink uh, pink lotus and holy lotus are the same thing um and then the second part of that um, are the ingredients that work together to make it a mask. So without the mask um, ingredients, like to give it this kind of thicker, creamier texture, um, it would just be a serum. Uh, but because we want it to sit on our face instead of get absorbed and we want like the full luxurious treatment, um, it has to have this combination of ingredients to give it this texture and I'll show you it's a really nice gel like texture it's really smooth it has a nice glide to it and you can stealth mask with it and stealth masking is um, masking on the sly like people can't tell that you have it on because it is translucent and skin tone colored so it just looks like you have really dewy skin in fact let me put a little bit on right now of course this is going to be completely ineffective because i'm wearing sunblock right now but i just wanted to show you that see you can put it on and you can't even tell that you're masking and that is stealth masking i stealth mask in the morning when i drive my kids to school because it's about a 30 it could be anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how late or early we live. If we leave on time, it's an easy 20 minute drop off. Um, if we leave late, because everybody else is always late, it can take up to 30 minutes. Adeline says, um, you should be able to use it daily if you have dry ass skin. <laughs> so, um, there you have it from the creator herself. You can use it daily even if you have dry skin. Um, I wouldn't just right off the bat go into using it every single day, um, especially if it's your first time or if you're just new to the whole skincare game, take it easy, baby steps first. And then you can just like dive right in once you know that your skin is okay with everything. And there you have it, see? Your skin does look really nice um, with it on. Now, if you do wear this throughout the day and you're, you're gonna leave the house, make sure you put a sunblock on it. And um, because it's a mask, um, chemical sunblocks might not absorb um, into your skin and activate. So I like to use a um, 
physical sunblock on top and just pat it in. So that's why I have both. I have physical and I have um, chemical sunblocks. And chemical sunblocks are more for, you know, if I'm doing my whole KBD routine and I'm going out for the day and I have time for it to absorb and activate and all that. But if I don't and I'm masking and I want to throw some quick protection on on top, I'll do a physical and just pat it on on top. And that way the mask is still working, but you have a layer of protection on top. I realize that not everybody would be comfortable doing this, but usually when I'm out and about driving around, I barely get out of my car, so I don't really care. And if I have to go through a drive-thru or something, um, people just might think I'm um, really greasy or pale <laughs> because of the um, all of the white cast in the physical sunblock. What's the difference between physical and chemical? That is a whole other episode, <laughs> but basically um, physical is with um, like, what is it, titanium dioxide? Yeah, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which is like the white powder stuff that acts like as a physical barrier, like block from the sun. And then chemical has ingredients that work as, um, like it absorbs into the skin and has like a filtration, like a UV filtration um, kind of thing um, but <laughs> um, we can go more into a sunblock later I actually have plans to make a video um, for sunblock as we get closer to the summer months um, Natalie says I've never found a physical sunscreen I like what do you use I use the alginist sublime defense that is the physical sunblock that I use. And I like this uh, better than any of the other physical sunblocks that I have used. And I use the um, chemical, I use Biore Watery Essence, which I gave to Melody because she didn't have any. So right now I'm using um, my Misha All Around Essence Sun Milk. Okay, let's get into the breakdown. So I'm going to post a link right now to the product that I am taking down if you guys want to follow along. There it is. Thumbs up when you're ready for me to move along. Okay, pull up my notes here. So the first comparison, of course, um, is what is the first ingredient on this list? And it's water. <laughs> um, no big surprise there. It's water. I mean, this mask looks pretty, right? I mean, it looks creamy. It's got these cool red things in there that I'm assuming are supposed to be lotus seeds. Um, the description of it sounds really promising. Um, it's just uh, really disappointing. And I have to be honest, I used to use this brand's whole lotus line. Um, just because I loved what Lotus could do for your skin. And I totally wasted my money. And I, I just kept using it thinking, well, maybe it takes a while to see results. You know, I'm patient when it comes to skincare um, because I know that it can take up to a month to start seeing results. And I was finished with my face cream. I was finished with my night cream. I was finished with my eye cream. And I still look the same. And it... If any, I mean, my skin stayed moisturized, but everything else that it promised to deliver, um, it didn't. So I was really disappointed. And because I finished the whole thing, I couldn't return it. I'm usually one to like return something if it doesn't work for me. I've returned a lot uh, because all these skincare companies promise results or your money back. Well, I cash in on it and I cashed in a lot because if you're going to promise something or your money back, 
bet I'm going to cash in because I have spent probably thousands of dollars in my life trying to find skincare that works and have been disappointed almost every single time. Um, so yeah, water is the first ingredient. Um, the second is glycerin, which is a cheap humectant. Um, the propylene glycol um, is another humectant. Um, pentylene glycol, another humectant. So let's see how many how many ingredients do we have to go through? One, two, three, four. Okay, so the fifth ingredient is something called lithothamnion calcarium powder, which is red algae. So red algae is the first active ingredient I see on here, and it's the fifth. It's not even lotus. And then we have uh, fractionated coconut oil, an emollient, a humectant, a texturizer, uh, an emulsifier. Oh, here's another. Okay, so there's sugar kelp. There's another active ingredient. Um, a humectant is something that um, attracts hydration to your skin. Correct, Adeline? I want to make sure I'm using the proper wording. And let's see. After sugar kelp, there's coconut shell powder. Still haven't seen any kind of... Oh, here we go. Lotus. Okay, so finally we get to lotus seed powder, and that is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's the fourteenth ingredient on the list. Fourteen ingredient. <laughs> Uh, lotus powder. It's not even like the extract, it's just the powder. Um, which, Adeline, is lotus powder from the seed or from the petals? I'd imagine it's from the seeds. Oh, it is seeds. It, never mind, it says seed right here. Nalumbo nucifera seed powder. So it's lotus seed powder, um, which is exfoliating. Um, then you get all these other. Um, extracts that are probably less than one percent and i don't even know why they bother putting it in here probably so when people read the ingredients list they're like oh it has all this cool stuff in here when it's like so minuscule like it's probably not even effective um so lemon peel oil cucumber fruit extract fig fruit extract star fruit extract sea fennel and then finally lotus extract lotus flower extract um, and you'll see that listed as Nalumbo nucifero flower extract and that is probably about halfway down the list um, halfway down the list you finally get to the lotus extract there are more ingredients before you get to the lotus extract than there are in holy lotus mask itself that should tell you something um, I mean, it's pretty ridiculous. You have <laughs> all those ingredients, and then you finally get to the active one when Holy Lotus doesn't even have that many ingredients. It's, it's pretty absurd. So the, the Fresh Lotus Youth Reserve Rescue Mask retails at $62 for all of that filler and all of those tiny bits of extract that probably don't do anything for you and holy lotus mask the full size is 75 dollars so for 13 dollars more you get a product where lotus is the very first ingredient on the list not only is it the first ingredients ingredient in the list, sorry, but it is 40% of the entire ingredients list. So in Holy Lotus wash off mask, there is 40% lotus extract, which is 
crazy. I mean, that is so much Lotus. Going to the other product where it was halfway down the list, you know, and it was underneath all of those other extracts, there's probably like one or one or two percent Lotus extract throughout the whole thing, and you're paying $62 for that. So, of course, you know, is it worth buying? No. Is it effective? No. I can attest to that. Um, Holy Lotus, though, um, super effective because I noticed after the first time I used it that my skin was so much smoother and it was brighter. I just, and it, it wasn't like, um, it wasn't like a shiny radiance. It was just like a lit from within radiance. Like there was a spotlight on me all the time. Um, my pores were starting to shrink the more that I used it. And I like the way that my skin actually felt, like physically to the touch. It was smooth, it wasn't sticky, it wasn't oily or greasy. It was just like the way that healthy skin should feel, where your fingers just glide over your skin without any kind of traction or um, any kind of texture, actually. I usually feel some kind of texture from like the tiny milia or um, acne that's starting to go away. Um, but, you know, sometimes you feel little bumps here and there on your face. After I rinsed off my Holy Lotus mask, I didn't feel anything. And that was before I followed with my serums and my moisturizer. I just had a completely smooth and bright complexion. All right. I'm going to go through these comments to see if I missed anything or to repeat anything that is important. Adeline says you can make powder from different parts of Lotus. And Adeline says, yes, a humectant is a type of moisturizing ingredient that binds water to your skin. So basically holds it there. Um, watery essence is chemical. Yes, watery, um, the Biore Watery Essence SPF is chemical. Uh, Carol says, it's true, the Umbrian clay line is supposed to help with oil, but I haven't tried that just because it's so expensive. And it's like, why am I gonna spend that much money on clay when their Lotus stuff uh, didn't work for me? Hi, Kristen. Yes, um, so Anne says, I just got Holy Lotus Mask, um, and she's looking forward to trying it. Yeah, do it right now. <laughs> do it as soon as you possibly can. It's so wonderful. It's such a great feeling. All right, I think I got everybody. If I missed any of your comments or questions, go ahead and post them again, because I'm looking now. Um, if you are catching the replay, thank you for joining me and getting to know Holy Lotus Mask a little bit more. If you have any questions about anything, um, go ahead and leave them um, in the comments and I'll answer them. And if you're catching this on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel um, where we will have lots more videos to come and we have a lot for you to watch. Um, so subscribe and share with all your friends. Join our Facebook group. Um, the link to the Facebook group will be in the description, as well as the link to Holy Lotus Mask. Easy for you to find. All right, guys, have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow for my final, yeah, it's gonna be my final Springbox video. So I will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.